Thank you, Councillor Ingram, for those very kind words. Uh, there's a few people I have to thank, even though uh, the Mayor has already done that, but I will be doing it again, so just please bear with me. I would like to welcome you all to the 66th National Cherry Festival in association with Quail Milling. To all our visitors, enjoy what our great town and surrounds has to offer. And thank you for being part of our celebrations. Tonight's entertainment has been kindly sponsored by McDonald's Young. My name is Lenore Schiller and I have the honour of being this year's National Cherry Festival President. I have also had the great pleasure of working closely with our three Queen entrants, whom I shall introduce to you shortly. This weekend would not have been made possible without the generosity and support of many sponsors. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all our sponsors and supporters, supporters particularly our diamond sponsor, Quail Milling, platinum sponsor, Cherry Moor Orchard, owned by the Batnick family, Gold sponsors McDonald's, Donger's Super IGA, Young Services Club, The Base Warehouse and Auto Pro Young. Silver sponsors, Southwest Slopes Credit Union, Young Regional School of Music, Wilad Living Soils, Radio 2LF and Rocky FM. Bronze sponsors, Young Motors, Wilders Bakery and Flight Centre Young. The following businesses have also donated to each Queen entrant. Poppers Fudge and Jam Factory, Annie B's, Base Warehouse, Big W, The Country Providor, Federation Motor Inn, Harvey Norman, Jules, Kessel and Grain, Label A, Meat on the Menu, Rhubarb Emporium, Southern Cross Cinema and The Stables Day Spa. On the back of your programs is also a list of local businesses who have supported this year's festival. We are so very lucky to reside in such a generous and giving community. Special thanks to Chantel Perrin Photography who supplied the photos that are in the programs. To Vicky and her team at Popper's Jam and Fudge Factory, a big thanks for wrapping the girls' prizes. They are just gorgeous. The flowers have been arranged by Karana Weddings. Again, thanks, Karen. Representatives from our diamond sponsors, Quail Milling, are not able to be here tonight, but they have asked me to relay to you a little bit about their product. Founded in 1888, the Young Roller Flour Mill is the last surviving farmer's crop mill in Australia. Known for its gold-dropped, patented flour, the Young Flour Mill has always prided itself in its superior quality product. Whilst flour, flour milling has seen significant technology developments over the last century and the Young Flour Mill has benefited from updated equipment, it remains faithful to its artesian beginnings, resulting in a superior product that is high in fibre with a higher mi mineral content than mass-produced flour. Rinaldi Pasta, owned by the Quail family, acquired the Young Flour Mill in October 2012 securing the future of Australia's oldest flour mill and the greater young community. Now trading as quail milling, the young flour mill continues to play a significant role in this rural community, being one of the largest employers in the region. Tonight belongs to our three beautiful queen entrants. And as I say this, here they come, making their way across the front of the stage, they are also joined by our reigning Cherry and Charity Queens. Before bringing the girls on stage, I would just like to explain to you how the Queens are elected. Here they come, looking gorgeous. Each entrant had nominated a local charity for whom they fundraise over the past six months. All girls have held individual events such as trivia and movie nights, cake stalls, Krispy Kreme donut sales, numerous raffle, raffles and other events. The money raised by each girl is tallied and the entrant raising the most money is crowned the charity queen. Half the money raised by the entrants goes toward the girls' charities and half towards the National Cherry Festival so that planning for next year can begin. 
All three entrants have worked tirelessly raising money for their charity and are to be commended for the amazing effort they put into their fundraising over the last six months. These young women have stepped forward and done the hard yards. What an amazing, amazing commitment, not only towards their charities, but also to themselves. Our town is very proud of each and every one of you, as I'm sure are your family and friends. Girls, be proud of yourselves also, no matter what tonight's outcome. The election of the Cherry Queen is a process where each girl is anonymously judged on events they must attend during the year. These events are the National Cherry Festival launch, a promotion held by the Cherry Festival Committee, the Long Lazy Lunch, which is held in a local orchard, attendance at the Summer Fruits Auction at Sydney Markets, and a Rotary Dinner where they speak to the Rotarians about their journey thus far. At each event, the girls are judged on public speaking, appearance, manner, interaction with those present, promotion of their charity, knowledge of the district, and their enthusiasm. The girls' scores for these events are tallied. Finally, the girls submit a portfolio outlining their journey as a Queen entrant, and this also is judged. The entrant with the highest score is Crown Cherry Queen. As you can see, there is a lot of commitment and dedication in putting your hand up to be a Queen entrant, but there also is a lot of fun that goes along with this. Before introducing you to our three queens, a special thanks must go to our tourism manager, David, and his wonderful team at the Visitors Information Centre. Without their endless work and enthusiasm, this festival would not take place. I'd like you to put your hands together for our tourism. To the great committee with whom I have worked over the past months, a huge thanks for your involvement and support. Without your efforts, this weekend would not be possible. I'd like now just to put it out there, if anyone's thinking about joining the Cherry Festival Committee next year, our AGM will be in February and you are most welcome. New ideas are always welcome. The Young Shire Council outdoor staff also deserve acknowledgement for the work they have done in preparing the town for this year's festival. The streets, gardens and parks look amazing. They will continue to work in the coming days, making sure all runs as smoothly as possible. And guys and girls, your efforts are not going unnoticed. Thank you. I would now like to ask Caitlin Muller, outgoing Cherry Queen, and Emily Hardy, the outgoing Charity Queen for 2014-15, to come forward and say a few words. time this past 12 months being Young's Cherry Queen. Um, the support I've had from the whole town, my family, friends, has been amazing and from the Visitor Centre and all the workers and Lenore, especially Lenore's amazing and the three girls tonight, you're all winners. I don't, it doesn't matter who wins, you're all winners to me and any people that want to enter next year, enter, it's pretty fun. That's all, have a good night. Charity Queen for the past year has been such an amazing experience and I fully encourage anyone who's interested in raising money for a fun fundraising event or a charity and who wants to showcase the town in such a positive way, I truly encourage reaching out and doing this lovely like opportunity. It's amazing. I hope everyone has such an incredible weekend. Thank you. girls and thank you for everything you've done over the past 12 months. You have been exceptional. Okay, now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for in anticipation. 
I'll now call upon each Cherry Queen in no particular order to come forward and just address the crowd very briefly and let them know what your charity was. Girls? Come forward means come forward. <laughs> First to the K stage, we have Kate Edwards, and her charity was the Young Care Mercy Care Auxiliary. Thanks, Lenore. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a good night. Um, so I chose the Young Mercy Care Auxiliary um, to raise money for it because I think it's an important organisation in the town so people can go to hospital, not stay in hospital, and go to a um, place like this. Um, yeah, it was really good. Uh, I'd just like to thank everyone who helped out, um, especially to the Mercy Care girls and the girls at Regency and to Lenore and all everyone to help. Thank you. Next to address you is April Strong, Young District Hospital and Auxiliary. April Strong. Um, thank you all for being here. Um, my chosen charity is the Young District Hospital um, Auxiliary. Um, a group of ladies that get together and decide on equipment that's used throughout the hospital to improve patient care. So it's quite, um, the funds go to an important cause. So thank you all for coming to Young and I hope you have a lovely weekend. And finally, we have Claire Palmer. Her charity was LFE Aging in Place Housing Project. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Um, my charity is um, LFE Aging in Place Housing. Um, Rongabri Courts are building 12 units, and it's a, a challenge with ability of independence to live on their own. Thank you. Okay, now I would now like to ask Mayor Ingram to come forward and announce the 2014-2015, that should be 2015-2016, Young Charity Queen, who will be crowned by outgoing Charity Queen, Emily Hardy. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bye for now.